Well, one of the big things in my life that really changed a lot of things for me was becoming a type 1 diabetic. One night, I'm walking down the hallway and I can't even walk straight. Blood sugar's a thousand and lucky I live to the next day sort of thing. But I'll tell you, that shaped my life in a big way because there I went from, you know, being blissfully unaware to having to control a major bodily function by myself every day. It was one of those things where you know, I could have let it stop me. A lot of people just give up, but no, that's, it's another one of those life lessons. You learn about it, you deal with it, you control it, and you move on to do the rest of the things in your life. My name is Karen gundy Burlett. I'm a research scientist, and I work at NASA. My uncle Floyd started a little um, airline between Paso Robles and Santa Cruz, and basically it was to distribute the apples from the family ranch in Washington down into the uh, area here. But beyond just the airline, he also did barnstorming. And I grew up with all of these wonderful pictures and stories of all of his exploits, and it did make me very aware of aviation. I was born in San Jose, California, um, lived in the same house all my life. I went to UC Berkeley for my undergraduate degree and then to Stanford for my master's and PhD degrees. Um, undergraduate degree was in mechanical engineering and master's and PhD in aeronautical engineering. My um, high school biology teacher knew Hans Mark, who was the center director at the time, and um, so she knew that there was programs for high school students. It was one of those amazing interviews. Here I am, just a, you know, a high school junior and um, talking about differential equations and how they approximate them, and it just, it was great. So I, um, that was my first experience at NASA, was with that interview, and I just, th from there on, I worked one day a week at NASA during the school year and I was paired off with a series of different mentors, wonderful research scientists who taught me so much. Right now I'm working on the Lunar um, Atmosphere Dust Environment Explorer. Uh, it's a spacecraft mission. I'm the flight software quality engineer, being able to actually apply a lot of that background work I've done in what happens in software systems and, and the intersection between software systems and people and that interface and so being able to use that in order to to create new ways of verifying um, uh, flight software is is just a fun job for me right now one of the things that I've learned here is even though I'm a math and techie person communication is absolutely vital if you can't talk about what you're doing it doesn't matter to the rest it, you, if you can't convey it it's not of any use to anybody else I would advise somebody to not specialize too quickly, too early. I mean, to um, really understand what's going on in math, to link it with your sciences and learn how to communicate all of that. Um, be an intern, figure out what you want to do with your life. Try a few different places, a few different companies. Don't be afraid to test the waters out. I've probably had five or six really critical mentors as I've moved through my career starting out as a 16-year-old and finding um, a series of scientists who were helpful, challenging, and each one of them I, I thank highly. And I try to give back. I bring on students all the time and try to pass on the knowledge and the experience that was given to me with new crops of, of students and other employees. I think one of the most important things when you're coming up young and in, in a field like this is not to be deterred by little things. I mean, every um, little roadblock, find a way around it, go over it. Don't, don't let yourself get stopped because I've, I've watched too many people become dispirited because of a little thing and it just, keep going. <laughs>